Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to talk about Intunes. Here's the um, the features and function I will be talking about in this video. So the first one is the Intune portals, and then it's the Intune admin roles, Intune app protections. It's also formerly known as Mobile Application Management or MAM. I will talk about great app protections policy, app protection experience on iOS devices, app protection experience on Android devices. I will also talk about mobile device management, MDM solutions, defining your authority or defining your MDM authority. I will talk about device enrollment methods. I will talk about customize the company portal manage apps, device configuration policy, device compliant policy, conditional access, device and app protection with MTD. Also, I will talk about telecom expenses management. So now let's get started. Here are some of the admin roles Intune admin roles available. So the tenant admins is the global admin. So the global admins manage your subscriptions, your organization subscription. Include Intune subscription, building, cloud storage, etc. And the billing admin manage your organization billing. Include task, purchase license, managing subscription. And here's the um, service admins. There's Intune Service Admin. Intune Service Admin has full control over Intune. Let's include any and all the tasks related to Intune and can manage Azure Directory groups. Conditional Access Admin. It's manage conditional access policy used to secure your, um, the cloud device. So it has control over conditional access blade in Azure portal and can manage policy and deployments. Configuration policy manager, manage day-to-day -day tasks with an Intune. Read only operator, read only access to view settings and generate reports. Has read permissions to all areas of Intune Administrator Console. Can't modify settings or data can be run reports. Help Desk Operator. Manage your organization Help Desk activities. Let the service admin perform only tasks associated with the Help Desk scenarios. Device Enrollment Manager. Enroll large number of corporate owned devices capable of enroll device beyond device enrollment limit. Regular users that have normal, normally uses the kiosk and shares scenario. So these are the admin roles. The next slide is Intune app protection deployment. So what is Intune app protection deployment? Another word is MAM, Mobile Application Management. What it is, is just an Intune policy that only apply to application level. So it will not, just say if you create a, a policy for Word, and in that policy, you want to enable or disable user from copy and paste. So with um, application protection, you can create the policy to do that. That's the app protection policy. So here's a configuration or configure into an app protection. And you can go through the configurations in Intune portal. You can use Intune App Protection to help protect your company's data on non-enrolled devices. So the devices don't have to be enrolled in Intune. You can take advantage of the MD, um, 
MAM policy or MAM features or app protection features. As you can see here, company, you can use Intune app protection to help protect your company's data on non-enrolled devices or even devices enrolled to Intune or even on devices enrolled to a non-Microsoft MDM solution like Mobile Iron or AirWatch. All right, let's go into the next slide. Here's the app protections on iOS devices. What we are viewing is an Intune app protection as seen by end users on iOS devices. What's important about this slide? This is an example of what end users would see when using app protection for iOS. In this case, the user had been asked to sign in using their corporate credentials. Upon doing so, the user is alert to a policy set by the IT admin that require a PIN to enter prior to access the protected app. Once the user select a PIN, they will be prompted to for said PIN each time they launch protected applications. So every time they launch the application, they will need to enter the PIN code that they established or created. That's app protection on iOS devices. This is the app protection on Android devices. So what I what we are viewing here is an Intune app protection as seen by the end users on Android devices. What's important about this slide, this is an example of what the end users would see when using app protection for Android. Similar for iOS, the end user has been asked to sign in using their corporate credential. Then they select a pin which the user will be prompted for each time they launch the, the protection applications. It's pretty similar to, um, to iOS devices. Every time they launch OneDrive, in this case, they're going to have to enter the pin code that they created initially. All right, let's go to the next slide. Mobile device management deployment. This features you must enroll the device into Intune. Without MDM deployment, you cannot deploy applications. You cannot deploy Wi-Fi profile, you cannot deploy email profile, you cannot deploy a certificate. So MDM is required when you want to do all those things. Here's um, define your device enrollment method. The way you enroll your devices into Intune is depend on device type and ownership and the level of management you need. So Android, BYOD, BYOD stands for bring your own device. Wipe required? Nope. User affinity? Yes. Lock? Nope. DEM, it stands for device enrollment manager. Device, enroll man man device enrollment manager can Enroll the device. And what is DEP? DEP is Apple Device Enrollment Programs. USB SA stands for USB Setup Assistant. It's an Apple configuration configurator. USB Direct. It's USB Direct Enrollment. It's an Apple configurator also. All right, now let's go to the next slide. You can customize the company portal. 
to fit your organizations so company cover can be customized by the customers corporate brand and color schemes and different setting texting uh, text fonts different colors that you want it's customers by customizable So prepare Intune to manage mobile device. For Windows 10 and Windows uh, Windows Mobile, it's required as an optional required. You can set up a C name for your organization, but it's it's an optional. It's not required. And here's the link how to do that. iOS 8 onward and mac os you need apple certificate it's called enroll apple push notification service apn certificate android 4 4.0 onward includes samsung nox 4.0 onward android for works there are no requirement for enroll android devices but your organization must sign up for android enterprise to manage android for work App management with Intune. With an Intune, you can add, assign, and monitor apps. Manage volume purchase app from App Store. Define app configuration policy. Define app protection policy. Selective wipe only corporate data from use your own device the key components of the device management is also manage application within the device in tune provide IT admins with the ability to configure applications to meet corporate defined specification in order to access corporate data Device configuration policy. Use Intune to create device configuration policy through device profiles. You can then control these device security and reduce the stress of your users and your help desk department by pre-configured settings for email, wireless, a wireless network, and VPN profiles. Telecom expenses with Intune you can you can manage telecom expenses incur from data usage so you can monitor data usage on a corporate owned mobile device. This will let you avoid costly and unexpected data and roaming overage for your Intune managed device. It's really handy when it comes to when you don't have unlimited data on the company mobile devices device compliance Intune protect corporate data by empower IT admins to set policy that manage how device access corporate data and what the device can do with the data once it's been accessed So you can help protect companies' data by defining rules, also referred to as the policies that a device must comply with before accessing the company apps and data. You can use compliance policy with or without conditional access. With conditional access, you can control access to your company resource based on device compliance. Without conditional access, you can get compliance report to access the health and security of targeted devices. Conditional access with Intune. Conditional access from EMS or Enterprise Mobile's mobility security is based 
on the power of, of Azure AD Premium and Intune. So you need Azure AD Premium P1 or P2 license. Together, they give you control over the corporate data security by defining condition that limit access to data based on location, device, and user statistic and app sensitivity. There are two main concepts to convey to, to your customer in this slide. First, it's the important explain the condition access. So once again, with this conditional access, you can create conditional access. Um, for example, user must enter a pin code in order to access um, Word or OneDrive, or users must provide MFA, multi-factor authentication, which is um, that they configure before they can access their emails. So those are conditional access with Intune. Those are some of the example. Or you can also do um, conditional access based on locations. If a user is outside of the company's network, he or she is going to have to enter um, a password or a code or a pin code to access the applications. Device and app protections with mobile threat defense. So you can control mobile device access to corporate resource based on risk management, risk assessment conducted by MTD. MTD is a partner solution that's integrated with Intune Risk. That integrated with Intune Risk assessed based on telemetry collect from device by MTD partner, including operating system vulnerabilities, malicious apps installed, malicious network profiles. You can configure condition access policy based risk assessment enabled through Intune device compliant policy, etc. So here's the um, MTD, mobile device, mo mobile threat defense uh, partners. Learn how to protect access company resource based on device network application risk with lockout, semantic endpoint protection, checkpoint sandblast, mobile, Zimprium, Prodeo, better mobile. Partners, these are the list of partners. Intune code management. If you have SCCM or configure, con I'm sorry, SCCM or configuration manager, you can use Intune and, and SCCM to manage uh, both of your devices. That's considered code management. Two infrastructure manage the device. Here's a endpoint management with code management. Enable a modern workplace with code management. Simplify way to connect the current configuration manager and Active Directory environment to the cloud and build on it. Microsoft 365 device management offer, offer you flexibility. You can attach the cloud or you can, or to your current device management infrastructure and get the latest updates. Move into core management models or use a cloud only device management solution, or you can come use a combination of all of them for the different parts of all your organizations and benefits from Unified Management Console. Here's the uh, Windows management enabled in Windows 10 device to manage by both Configuration Manager, Agent, and Intune. Here's the uh, configuration uh, code management architecture with configuration manager and Intune. It's a diagram. Windows 7 devices are managed by 
configuration manager, the same as today. Managed device are managed with Intune. I'm sorry, mobile device are managed with Intune. But it's not required for code management. Windows 10 can be managed by both configuration manager and Intune at the same time. So device managed by both configuration manager and Intune at the same time, both on-prem and Azure AD. So that's the um, code management. Let's go to the next slide. How to get code management, existing configuration manager managed device. So configuration manager agent, domain join, configuration manager agent, Azure join. Configuration Manager Agent into an MDM Active Directory join. Here's the new device. You go through Autopilot, joins to Azure Active Directory, Intune, and then manage by Intune, and then go to Configuration Manager Agent. So, so the question is how to answer how to answer how to get a device to co match to co-manage state, we can split into two. The existing device, those will go through the co-management through SCCM admin option to co-management. This device actually join and roll into Intune. New device as part of Intune integration with Autopilot, you will be able to domain join a new device as well as Azure join. It will then auto-enroll into Intune and Intune will bootstrap the SCCM agent so you can end up with the same settings as the existing device SCCM, Intune, Azure, and AD Azure AD and Domain Join. There are some possible flavors of the example some organization might, ne might not want to Domain Join a device and then device and then have SCCM managed device over the internet Next slide. So remote actions available in Intune on Azure for code management devices. So with the Windows 10 device is enabled for code management, you have the following remote action available to you from Intune on Azure. So it's factory reset, select wipe or selective wipe the lead devices restart devices and fresh start. So the factory, the factory reset, restore device to its factory default settings. A factory reset store all the companies and user data settings. I'm sorry, a factory reset restore all companies and user data settings. The device removed from into management. A factory reset is useful for resetting a device before you give the device to a new user or when a device has been lost or stolen. Be careful about the selecting factory reset. The data on the device cannot be recovered. Selective wipe. What is selective wipe? Selective wipe when a device is lost or stolen. If the employees leave the company, you want to make sure the company app data removed from the device. But you might not want to remove personal data on the device, especially if the device is an employee owned. Delete devices. You can delete. You can use the act the delete action to remove device records from Azure portal device that you know and unreachable and un unlikely to communicate with Azure again. So the delete action doesn't remove device from management. Restart the device. A restart device action costs costs is the device device you choose to be restart to be restarted. The device owner is isn't automatically notified of the restart, and they might lose work. They or they might lose work. Fresh start. What is fresh start? The fresh start device action remove any apps that install that are installed on Windows 10 PC that is running 
creator updates then it automatically updates the PC to the latest version of Windows. Workloads able to transition to Intunes. Certain workloads are available to switch over to Intune. So the following list will be updated as workload becomes available to, to transitions device compliance policy. Code management for Windows 10. Enable code management in the configuration manager console is easy. The code management wizard will allow you to determine which devices are enrolled into Intune. This enable cloud-based management of your Windows 10 devices. Also, simply moving the slide for support workload will transition scenario from the from the configuration manager to the cloud. The pilot group can be target, targeted or the slider can be moved all the way to Intune. So management Windows devices, Windows 10 devices in the same way they manage mobile device using simplified, low cost cloud-based solution. However, managing the transition from traditional manage, uh, management to modern to modern management can be a challenge. Here's the uh, link. You can uh, read more about it. So prerequisites for code management. The following are uh, general prerequisites to enable code management. So the Azure ADs set up for auto auto enrollment. Hybrid Azure AD into an MDM authority set to Intune. Configuration Manager current branch must be 1710 or greater. Windows 10 version 1709 for creators update or greater. Licensing requires Windows 10, EM EMS 3 or EA5. Here's the note. If you have hybrid MDM environment into an integrated with Configuration ma Manager, you will need to migrate to Intune standalone first. Yep. Here's the link to a Microsoft End User Guide. So that's it, folks. Uh, that's just uh, old, uh, workshops on Intune. It's just high levels, um, Intune's feet, um, functions and features. So in the next few video, I will go to Intune portals and create policies, mobile application policy, um, device compliant policy, conditional access policy. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My channel will cover Intune, Office 365, Azure, SCCM, Windows 10 deployment, etc. Have a great day.